All right. Hello, you guys. Welcome to Coach's Corner. We are so excited. We already have been chatting. We're having so much fun, but we're so excited to have you guys um, join us today because we have a special guest, our dear friend, um, Allie. We are going to talk about, hi, buddy. We're going to talk about goal setting today, but we're really going to dive into um, some stuff that Allie has uh, shared with us on consistency, on consistency, her five tips. So we're going to give you five tips and just productivity. So um, we're going to dive into that. We're going to kind of piggyback off of each other and just give you guys some of our own ideas as well. To, of course, your hosts, don't forget us, Ashley, I'm Coach Ashley on Instagram, also Malik, Coach Malik on Instagram, and then Allie is uh, Allie Velasquez on That's Instagram. It. That's it. Awesome. All right. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just kick us off, or actually, I'm going to kick it to, not kick us off, I'm going to kick it to Malik, and you can um, just start with those five tips, and we're going to really focus on um, what Allie has brought to the table for us today. Thank you, Ashley. Yeah, we're super pumped. Allie, thank you for coming. Uh, we talked about some uh, questions that we want to ask you guys or wanted to bring to the show uh, and wanted, you know, Allie to kind of go a little bit more into her schedule, which she's said yes to do. And one of our questions was, what are the top five tips to stay consistent slash productive uh, to your goals? Yeah, um, I biggest thing, number one thing, I calendar everything. I'm talking down to my own workouts, down to emails, you know, computer work that I need to get done. Obviously we are personal trainers. Most of our job is physical and being present in the moment, yep. but you know, staying consistent on those little tasks and things that we need to get done on the background side of things. Um, I have to calendar everything. I think Ashley also mentioned that she really like down to everything calendars, everything. So create a calendar, create a schedule, follow it, set reminders on your calendars and your schedule, set little timers for things. Um, sometimes productivity is also time bound, right? Like I feel like if you've ever studied for school or for certification or for anything, you can only study for so long before you start to get that brain fog and before you kind of start to drive yourself a little bit crazy set a two hour timer. I'm going to set this amount of time to do X amount of work. Um, and I'm not going to burn myself out on that. So I think that really helps as well. Find what you enjoy doing. Um, I think it's way easier to stay consistent on things when you enjoy what you're actually doing, right? Mm -hmm. There's no point in making goals that are going to be impossible to meet. Yeah. Um, so yeah, finding what you enjoy doing. I super quick. Yeah. <laughs> Those are so good. I just, <laughs> I just want to elaborate. Listen them off, you guys. Like each one could be a podcast look. in itself. Yeah, seriously. This always happens to us. I feel like we just need another thing to go off of. <laughs> but um, so uh, 100% calendar, uh, especially as a mom, it's huge for me. Um, the calendar just keeps me organized. And when you're organized, you are more productive. The other thing that you said, the second thing was. Time tell me the second thing. Time, Time bound. Yeah. Okay. And see mom brain, you have to write things down. True. Timers, reminders, <laughs> alarms, schedule, calendar. <laughs> That's reminders. I love That's awesome. So the rem reminders, 1000%. <laughs> I huge believer in that. I have a freaking timer for like everything. I got timers. I got, I got alarms going off all throughout the day to remind me to do this. That's a huge one. And I, you said something about that, the time balance. And I actually, there's something really cool that, um, has helped me to, even with, um, this would be a little more on the product productivity side, especially as a mom, when you're like in it home, two little kids, like your house is a mess. You haven't eaten, you haven't like all the things you set a timer, 15 minutes, set a timer. And you say, I'm going to, for 15 minutes, clean this room nothing else don't tackle anything else clean this room for 15 minutes i'm gonna wash the dishes for 15 minutes i'm gonna sit down and really just you know play with the kids and focus on that you set a timer even for just 15 minutes the amount of things you can get done with no distraction it is huge and that has been so amazing that timer thing because literally like you were saying studying or anything like if you just sit down 
work. If you work from home, sit down, set a timer and work. Don't have anything else yeah. for, as far as distractions work out. If you set a 15, 15 minute timer and just do a quick workout, you'll sweat and you'll focus on just that and you'll sweat and feel good and you're reset for the day. So yeah. I think that is a really, really also a really great tip. And, um, what's the third one? Third one. Uh, Oh, enjoy what you're doing. I do. Yes. I just had, so I have a new client and I was just talking to her. I was like, I was like, what do you like, how can you express yourself? How can you move your body in a way that's going to be fun? I was like, can you like, you want to go like roller skating? Oh, buddy. You okay. I was like, I was like, you want to go like roller skating, skateboarding, hiking. I love hiking. Hi hiking is like my number one thing I will do to clear my mind, feel better and like move my body. And it just brings my soul happiness and mm -hmm. de-stresses me. I was like, I told her, I was like, you have to find something that you can like move your body physically and get that, like your heart rate up maybe even, or just get happy or whatever. Yeah. That happiness also helps with like losing weight and de-stressing and, oh, yeah. and everything, it makes it, you know? It makes it easier to do those things. Yep. Like for me, the timer thing is important for when I'm doing email scheduling, like the, you know, as a trainer, I feel like we find the most enjoyment in our jobs while we're training right yeah. or while we're teaching and to be honest when I have to schedule each month I leave it sometimes to the last minute because it's the least thing that I want to do right yeah um and the computer work and all the other things that come with it like on the back end that stuff is hard to find time to do I'm putting that in quotes because you yeah. find time to do something but I think that's where I kind of lack and where I need the timer. So the timer. So thing, that's, that's, that's good. Set a timer for the hard things. Set a timer yeah. for the things you don't like to do. For for example, for me, it's hard to clean the house in the middle of the day. I said you set a timer, 15 minute reset. You set a timer for the things that are hard to do and you will get it done and you sit down and concentrate on it. And it just, yeah. you get it done faster. And then you reward yourself by going on your hike afterwards because that there you go to your soul. Two birds, one stone. You see how she did that? Like you were talking, it didn't seem like she was listening. She comes back. I don't know how she does this. She's doing like all things, the mom stuff. I, I don't know. I still don't get how you do like the baby got me. hurt. You I'm putting a podcast out. I have notes. She's yeah. doing it all at once. I could tell you you were like, is she listening? Is this gonna go? And I was like, I know she's listening. She's gonna come in in two seconds and we'll be write that Malik. sentence. Yeah. And and we're kidless, Malik. Malik's always pumping me up. Thank you. I plan on having I plan on like having 10 mom. kids. I, I want 10 kids. You're insane. One day. Still? Still? Yeah. Hey. Hey, Jim used to say he wanted four, and I was like, that's now, the ask. Now he wants five. We've settled. <laughs> We've settled. Go the other way. That's How's two funny. going, Ash? <laughs> How's two yeah. going? Because that's I in my settled. future. <laughs> Two's all you need. You're there good. You go. Tapped out. Tap out to no more. I'm all, all right. set. Noted. <laughs> so, so those are your first three. They're freaking amazing. Keep okay. going. But I, I think those are good points. And oh. me, I, I know Malik takes notes, so we can always close with like those little reminders. I but have a good one. Is, well, I kind yeah. of just explained my fourth, which yeah. is rewards, right? Uh, rewards yourself. Yes. So you know, you you're productive. You do the things you don't want to do. You set your timers for your tasks. And then you reward yourself with something that you do want to do after your task is done. And it makes everything better. I used to, and you know, there's healthy ways, healthy rewards, and there's other rewards that you splurge on, which I think everything comes in balance. Yep. Um, but I have like a fun, like less healthy, but like exciting reward that I used to do. Yeah. So if I hit X amount of sessions, um, in a week for training on Fridays, if I were set to hit my session count, um, I would go and get myself a little Phil's coffee because it's mm -hmm. my unhealthy, guilty pleasure, my sugary, exciting, fun, 
Feel melted haagen ice cream style oh. coffee. And I would reward myself with that on Fridays. Um, if I hit, if I hit my session count. Wait, there's ice cream in the, in Phil's coffee? No, it just tastes like that. Honestly. Oh, it, it does taste amazing. I was like, I don't remember the meat ice cream. That's just like what it reminds me of. But that's it's like cool. an example of like, okay. you know, a little reward that if I hit my session counts for the week and, yeah. you know, I think that's like, called affogato. Affogato. I think it's espresso over ice cream. Just that that out there. words yeah. on the potty, on the podcast right We're now. We're learning new words. I'll never say that again. I didn't know we were Italian. Is that Italian? Are you Italian? Is that an Italian word? It's possible. It's possible. I don't know. <laughs> so we got a calendar. Put everything on the calendar. Time bound. Set a timer. Uh, do something you uh, enjoy and then reward yourself after you do it. And then the fifth one. Fifth one. Don't feel guilty for mishaps. Love that. That's a good one, too. I think that it's important when you fall off not to get discouraged. Can you say that and one one more time? Uh, don't feel guilty for mishaps. You know, I think that it's important to, if you fall off, not to let that like cloud your overall goal and judgment on what you're doing and like, keep going. I think that everybody's going to fall off. That's like a part of the process. You know, I actually think you guys in your last episode last week were you guys mentioned something about what was it Ashley you know exactly I was yeah I was just gonna bring it to you, you I, I heard attention. your last podcast and I think you were you guys were saying something along the lines of like yeah because uh like you said a mishap I like that word too it's not a complete mm. fall off it's not a something where it's the end right it's just a speed bump it's a bump in the road everyone is going to have that a setback mm -hmm. but the people that keep going are the ones that stay consistent are the ones that you see are successful whether it's in like their well like health journey physically mentally financially like in their business those are the people that had the setbacks had the you know fall off moment and they don't fall off they keep going yep that's huge huge so yeah that's my fifth i love that i love it those are great. My favorite one might have been that last one. Don't feel don't feel guilty for the mishaps. That's hard because yep. people just people the just hardest. go back to square one. And yeah. it's like, no, you worked so hard to get halfway there or a quarter of the way there, or yeah. you're almost there and you fall off. And then people think yeah. like, that's it. Yeah. I'm done. I have to start over. And yeah. there's have so you... much, there's also so much learning in the process of falling off, right? exactly like you learn so much yeah by failing which i think is what ashley said last week like you learn so much by failing and it's a pivot failure, moment i don't think failure is like a bad thing right like you kind of have to go through that in order to That's progress insane. and move forward fail failure is literally what makes or break people because people will see failure as that done like i failed that's it yeah. and then other people see failure as that pivoting moment right. where something happens and you do have a setback you do fail yeah baby nice that's cool <laughs> and then from that failure they learn they take a new road and then those people like skyrocket just yeah. skyrocket yeah yeah have you guys heard the book atomic habits love yep i've heard of it there's, haven't read it but heard a, it. you need to read it it's so it, good I, I'm so into yeah. fiction right now, you guys. Like, I'm reading so many, like, oh, I'm, like, deep in, like, a fantasy world right now. I want to know. But I can take a break. Yeah. I can take a break for the good habits. I'll, I'll, I'll have to put that one on my book list. You take the atomic habits, I'll go to the fantasy land. Okay. Yeah. But there's this quote in there, this line that, I re that kind of brings this point, like, you fail or whatever. Or even if you're doing the right things, you're not seeing results. A lot of people do that. They'll go hard for a week and not see results. It's like, you know, you only do this a week. You know, uh, yeah. there was this, uh, you know, you have an ice cube in a room. Let's say you're in a freezer room and there's an ice cube there and you're breathing, right? Your breath is hot, but it's 23 degrees in the, in the freezer room. And then, but you're breathing it. So it's getting a little hotter. It's getting to 24, but it's still ice. Now it's 25 degrees, 26 degrees, 27 degrees, it's still ice, 28, 29, 30. You're doing all these warming up, but it's still ice. Nothing's changing on the ice. As soon as it hits 31 or 32, I think it was 32, whatever freezing is. I don't know. Fahrenheit. I ain't a scientist. <laughs> it starts melting, but you put in all that effort, didn't see any results. And then as soon as that 
one degree switches now the ice is starting to melt so it's like how long are you willing to wait to see you know the the, the results that you're trying to see and that's kind of like why i like the guilty thing is like you feel guilty you stop no, no, no you feel guilty cool learn why do you feel guilty but don't have that stop you it's like you keep like a bike only falls yeah. over if it stops it keeps it keeps its balance if it keeps going I, I love that I think people like instant gratification yeah okay. and when you're talking like about big goals and like things that are just you really have to have like a schedule and you know the smart goals right yep. like you yep. really have to follow those points when you yep. have these big goals there's no way you're going to get that instant gratification yep. you have to find that instant gratification for yourself which is why we're talking about all these like smaller points, right? Don't feel guilty if you fall off. Reward yourself for the little things, right? Find what you enjoy doing. So like, those are all important points that just kind of connect to what Malik was saying. I love that. Yeah, and that, okay. So first of all, that book, amazing. Like everyone should read that book. I actually yeah. put that in my show notes, Malik, because I, I want, I really recommend that book to everybody. And there's so many good good tips in there mm -hmm. um but like that ice thing a lot most i want to say most people actually stop before that break yeah uh, before they hit that point that transition it gets really really hard they're seeing a lot of pushback they are striving for something and it it, it it's like right when you feel like you're about to have a breakthrough something hits you yeah. You know, like there's, and, it, and it's always when you're about to have a breakthrough yeah. that the hard comes and that's when they stop. And they were one degree from that melting ice. You Crazy, right? That one, right before that degree. Yeah. But isn't that life in itself also? Uh, yeah. Like resilience, resilience. And tribulations. And like, if you work through them, like you are way further ahead than everybody else already. You have and, to work through them. Right. Because that's to. the thing is if you don't, what you don't see is that everyone else is. Yeah. What you see is the highlight reel on everyone's Instagram, on everyone's page. You see what they're choosing to share with you and you don't see the ups and downs that every single person is going through. We are all going through it. Everyone has a failure in their life and everyone has those failures and might not be talking about it at their moment because they have made it to their, you know, you start at level one, they're at level 100. So all you see is their success, but you didn't see their level 50 when they lost it all. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, that's where, that's where it, honestly you differentiate the, the winners and the losers, the losers, but the winners. Yeah. The true. losers, the winners. Not kidding. first, you're last. Just kidding. This podcast. No, <laughs> that but, is not what we're talking about. <laughs> I'm okay. If you, if you think about it though, like even in the NBA game, this is also part of the book too, the Olympics, everyone has the same goal. Like no one's going in like, so it's not always the goal is a good direction, but like you were saying, Ali, it's all about the process. It's all about the things that you're doing because yeah, we're all in the Olympics. We all want to win the gold. It's not like anyone's in here. Like, yeah, I'm chilling with the bronze. You know, yeah. like my goal yeah. isn't bronze. Everyone's goal is the same. So what's the differentiator? It's the, are you going to put it on your calendar? Are you going to put a timer? Are you going to do the thing? It's the, what's your process? Winners have different processes. We all got the same goals. But what differentiates is like the, these things, the habits yeah, and, and being, the consistency and being comfortable with being uncomfortable, if that makes you, any sense, right? Like that makes sense. The whole gratification sure. thing of like, people don't work past that point of that ice melting, right? People yeah, don't work yeah. past that point because they want the instant gratification because they're uncomfortable. Yeah. People want easy money, easy yeah. fame easy this easy that easy it's yeah. nothing's easy in life nothing yeah. and all those people that you see that have easy lives there or that made it that wasn't easy to get there no three they minutes didn't show you that right right three minutes yeah it's all right Dang. still time Dang. i mean we could so, we, we could have a break but we could, could be here break. for like two hours <laughs> i know we say we do this all the time should we upgrade next next week? Should we do this? Should we week? have had Allie on? She talks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could, we could do a commercial break and come back in a minute. I think maybe we might have to do a commercial break, come back and finish those last two questions that we still have. We could do that. Um, and maybe a good closing point because, and the, this doesn't have to be the closing point, but a good closing point on the book 
I will say that it gives you a lot of really great processes and tips yeah. and habits. That's what I well, like. It's called atomic. Ha- it's called atomic habits. Yeah. Right. But like one of the, like one of the greatest advice, like little tidbits of advice he had said was when you have a habit of getting off of work and driving a certain way, you drive on a street all the way home every single time. And you pass that 24 hour fitness instead of having a gym in your hometown where you're driving to, but it's out of the way, go to the one that's on the way. So the habits that you can make on top of habits, ha- stack, mm-hmm. it's called habit stacking. The habits that you can stack on each other because you're already doing something mm-hmm. is so important because you have to sometimes make the things you don't like easy. Yeah. And that is, that is huge, a huge thing for people that some of their habits, some of the good habits they want to start, they're not easy enough and they're not doable. Like they want to go to the gym for like an hour, go for five minutes, go for 15 minutes, make it on the way from work. Make it so that you can do them easier. So then you start getting into the habit and then eventually it will be so second nature. You can go to any gym. doesn't matter where it's at. You're just going to get there because you know, you want to get there. You have to get there. And that's your, the habit that you've created. Yeah. Habits. I, I really okay. like that one. Making it easy. Yeah. So should I, uh, should I go over everything we did a little summary or is this where we're going to do yeah. a minute break? Come back. All right. So in this, so- in this segment, we talked about uh, being productive and how to achieve our goals and how to be productive achieving our goals. And Ali said, put everything in the calendar, set your reminders, which is huge. I really like that one. I was going to ask for some uh, examples, but I, th- I think you gave some maybe in, in the, when we come back, because I, I put examples, question mark. Mm-hmm. Um, so put everything in the calendar, time bound. So put timers on things that you don't want to do. Makes it a little bit easier. You just get it done, put that timer on and go. Uh, do something you enjoy, find something you enjoy, reward yourself. Once you do it, so you set, you, you set that timer, something you don't do, you ended up doing it, wash the dishes, go, did your workout. Now go uh, reward yourself with, with something that you want to do. Uh, and lastly, but not last, uh, don't feel guilty when, when you have mishaps. It's because that, that's going to slow you down the most. So we're going to take a minute break here. Enjoy the commercials. There are no commercials. Our sponsorship. Hey, we'll be back. Okay. Join us. Hey. Too bad we can't. I am not a good drawer. Oh, get your drawing. That looks like nay, up. not hey. There's a smiley face <laughs> for you. So this is our intro to our show. Welcome. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back. Oh, we'll be doodling. My guy looks so scary. <laughs> How do we get out of this? Slide to the left. Can you yeah, slide? Yeah, draw here. Yeah, I'll. Anyway, do you guys like our drawings? Fine. Rate the drawings. Whose is better? Rate the drawings. Oh, damn. Who's this one? Is that Mal right here? Yeah. Nice. I can't even see it all. And Malik is in the wrong career. He needs to be an animator. Amen to that. I agree. All Do right. it. You can be anything you want to be. I'm just... All I, right. I don't want to be... I'm going to close the whiteboard. Sorry. <laughs> I, I stopped someone from drawing. So we're going... We have uh, 10 minutes. And we're going to go back to our... Welcome back, guys. We're going to go back to our questions. Number two. What do we think about making goals that are huge and scary and bigger than you think you could achieve maybe at that moment? I mean, I think we touched on it a little bit, like the SMART goals. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know if everybody knows, you know, like specific, what is it? Specific, measurable, attainable. What's R? Reasonable? Reasonable? Something like that? I think so. Yep. And time bound. Yep. We talked about all those things. So I feel like, if you break your goal down with those little smart goals, I think that you're even more set up to follow those like little goals yep. to create that one big goal, right? So break it down into little bite bite chunks. Bite sizes, yeah. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Ashley, do you have anything to say on that? The big scary goals? You know what? Also, um, like you said before too, the reward, because with every small goal, there's a reward with it. Right. So then it keeps you going, keeps you motivated. Yeah. So I think this breaking it down, smaller goals, having rewards on the way, but focusing and seeing that big goal. I, I, I personally think that huge, scary, big, big to where you don't even think you could do it. Like, Things mm-hmm. like that, I think they're just healthy to have, good to have because it pushes you. Because mm-hmm. if you reach 
I mean, let's just say you went for, and this was on a, who was this? Someone that I listened to a podcast and I forget who it was now, but they were talking about those goals, those type of goals. And when you set that giant goal and you don't get there, you got further than if you mm. would have set a smaller goal, True. right? Like you would have set the small goal, you would have done it, it would have been whatever, cool. But if you set the really, really huge goal, even if you don't get there, you got so much further than you would have if you just settled like on a small one, yeah. you know? Love so that. I think that's why it's like really great. Love that. I also think, yes, thinking about the bigger picture, but also as you're doing these baby steps, right, to get to somewhere, staying present, because I think that sometimes when you are looking too far ahead into the future, you a not only miss what's right in front of you, but you also take some of that enjoyment out of it. And you're, you don't get to process everything that you're doing in the present. And that kind of just gets like lost and put to the side. So I also think staying present yeah. in your baby steps and in what you're doing to get to that big, exciting, huge, scary goal, yeah. like don't miss out on what's right in front of you. Like, People miss out on the enjoyment of things too. People miss out on like, oh my God, I like took one step towards this and I'm not even going to recognize what I just did. Yeah. yeah. And that's where the rewards come in. Reward yourself for those smaller steps that you achieved and those smaller goals that you achieved because it's just getting you one step closer to either your big goal or to being a better person, a better husband, wife teacher, student, coach, like whatever, like it's just helping you get there, but it's all like recognize that you're growing and, yeah. you know, reward yourself and celebrate yourself for those, those goals that you hit. And yeah, I think that's actually a good point. Like stay present with the, what you're achieving. I love that. Yeah. Staying present. It's so easy to get uh, lost in the future and our goals and stuff. Yeah. Uh, so I like that. Uh, and then the th last question, do we have any more about the scary goals, the big scary goals? Good to have guys get some scary goals all right viewers get some scary goals last one what do you think about no new year's resolution movement or do you like the new year's resolution um and what's your take on the new year's resolutions Ooh, i'm gonna let ashley start with this one Ash? okay so i I, th I think it's so interesting because there's so many different sides to this and there's like a side that i that i see where people don't rest you know, we're in winter. It's a great time to rest. It's a great time to recover, recuperate, take a break, whatever. Right. And if you're like going through movement, if you're going through the movement 24 seven, going, oh, going, going, going 24 seven, um, it might not be healthy to set a new year's resolution because you need a break. So think, I mean, if you think about it, it's right in the middle of like winter time, winter could either be your break or winter could be your go getter time. And maybe summer is your break. But depending on how you're living, and if you're not in tune with that, then get in tune with that. Because if you're not taking a break and you're going 24 seven, the new year's resolutions thing might not be great for you. If you, if it is your time to really dive in and first quarter of the year is when you want to go for things, then great, take a break another time. But I don't think it's super health, healthy to not set goals overall. I think it's important and to, for yourself to always for everyone to always grow and learn and do things whether it's like you have you actually Ali you shared your goal this year was to read more books whether yeah. that's educational for fun you know recreation whatever like I think it's just always good to have something where you push yourself because the again the more we grow and learn the more we can get through obstacles and setbacks in our life so I don't think necessarily we need to like give up New Year's resolutions. I think we can give up the timing of them. It doesn't have to be who ever oh. says you have to start things on like January 1st. It's that's like right. just it's just like a it's essentially just a huge trend. <laughs> and it's yeah. just been a trend for so long, right? Like you don't need to do that, mm -hmm. but I don't think that we should just give up on like don't set a goal. You know, I think you're right. I think that people really take it so seriously. Right. Yeah. The first of the year and there's things to be done and people are so harsh on the whole new year's resolution thing. And I love that you said that, that like, it doesn't have to be January 1st. It doesn't have to be like, so set on a specific 
timeline, like you said, you, it's unhealthy to not have goals and to not have these things in your life that you want to progress to. But also I think that like, A, you can make goals anytime during the year, right? And B, just because it's new year's resolution and it's like the first of the year and we want to make this a big thing and we want to be ahead of the crowd because everybody else is doing it. I also think to that point, just because it's New Year's resolution and it sounds like such a crazy big thing, my New Year's resolution is such a Mm -hmm. small, doesn't really have to do with much. It has to do with like something that I enjoy doing and something that I found enjoyment in last year, but I felt like I didn't do enough of it. So I didn't get to enjoy enough of it, right? Like my, I read three books last year. That's nothing in the grand scheme of things. And my resolution this year, read six to nine books. That's so small and something like just out of enjoyment. And your new year's resolution doesn't have to be, I'm going to lose 20 pounds in a month or I'm doing all of January and I'm not going to take a break off. You know, people are so harsh and heavy up here with new year's resolution. Sometimes it can be down here. It doesn't always have to be so crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. It's not even like down here either. Because like something you, like you said uh, in the last, do something you enjoy. That's, if anything, it's like, I see that up here because it's making you happy. It's making you more lively. I wrote down what you just said is like, uh, enjoyed it, but didn't do enough of it. I feel like a lot of people set these goals like, Oh, I didn't, I, I didn't like eat well or work out enough. And those are all things that they're like, guilt, guilt, guilt. So I got to do, do, do. Where it's like, what did you enjoy last year? Like, what did you do? Did you go on one hike? Did you go on one vacation that you really like my, I didn't think of it or write it down, but like some, something that I could do as a new year's resolution is travel more. Cause I did have so much fun traveling has nothing to do with losing weight has nothing to do with bettering my career, but it makes me happier. So yeah. like, whatever you enjoyed, but didn't do enough of, maybe that's your new year's resolution mm-hmm. is doing some more of what you enjoy uh and goals don't have to be so serious yeah yes I love that that is so true like why are people yeah why are you so serious yeah yeah why are you so serious <laughs> joker I was I've really waiting, hoping I've been like that. minutes to say that why are you so serious really hoping <laughs> you would do that I wish I had a a, a filter the joker filter I would have done it we can always count on Mal but I feel like that's so like, it's almost like these punishment goals. Yeah. Punishment. They're punishing themselves. Like why dude, live a happy life. Like yeah. enjoy yourself. Like maybe your goal yeah. is to go outside more. Like I think for, for me, a big one actually was to be better with my time so that I can be a better present, happy, like, parent wife all the things you know so like just to be more present and to like really to really like just have like that like quality time like good time like not distracted time like I think that's was something that I really wanted to like work on this year and I I think that was like a good kind of like a like an analyzing goal like I did maybe I did a little too much of this last year so I want to do this this year like I I I, and I kind of like what Malik said you said like maybe we'll, like look back at your year like what did you enjoy yeah. what did you not enjoy what did you not Ali enjoy what you, Ali said that what could you improve on yeah. what could you make you know like there's a lot of really good stuff where you can just like look back at your year and be like well I want to get better at this and maybe I want to pick up a new hobby or maybe I want to yeah. do this and do that and it's just like it doesn't need to be like dang I suck and I need to do this this and that and I need to lose this way to it like all this even even with said actually with my new client, I just did this, but even with like setting goals, like instead of punning your, punishing yourself and doing things that are like, take, take, take away, take this because it's not good. Take the, like add good things in yeah. and then yeah. slowly the bad things go out. Right. Um, that is a, a real good way to end it. Cause we have about 45 seconds. <laughs> that was a good end. Good job, that, was a, guys. that was a great end. That was perfect um, ending. Thank you so much, Allie, for joining. And we will have you back because that was super fun. Um, thank you, guys. Was. I had so much fun with you guys. Podcast. Um, do you have any, any last words? That's it. Follow us on Instagram. And I look forward to being more present in our industry. <laughs> and enjoying our goals.
All right. Hey thanks, guys. guys. Thank you for watching. Remember, if you have any comments, what you want to see next episodes, leave it down below. Coach's Corner. See you next episode.